I want to make a thumbnail that has a guinea pig exactly like this on a black or transparent background. So I googled guinea pig in Wikipedia and discover George the Amazing Guinea Pig. This picture of George is governed by the rules of the GNU free documentation license. So I downloaded the 1280 by 960 pixels here. Then I open Photoshop. And in Photoshop, I open where I save George, the amazing guinea pig, right here. Just to check, image, canvas size, canvas size is 1280 by 960. So that's what we are working with. I'm going to view fit on screen. Then we will select this tool, the quick selection tool. And if we right click on it, use the quick selection tool here. And it will change this toolbar. And we'll have a selection tool with plus and one with a minus. And that's the size that we're selecting. We'll start with the plus. Before we go any further, let's duplicate this layer. So we'll go to window. We want to see the layers. Turn off, they're here. And we'll right click on background, duplicate the layer. Let's just make this layer one. We want to select the body separate from the whiskers. So we're going to now select the body first with this. Now see, it jumps all the way to the corner here. So we'll select the selection tool with the minus and deselect those areas. So we have just the body. Let's not include this hair, it's distracting. And we missed a spot over here. Let's include this. So we have all of George's body. We are going to add a solid color adjustment layer. Clicking right here. Solid color. And for this, black will just be fine. Let's put this adjustment layer in this down in this order here. Now we need to recover the whiskers and maybe a little hair that's sticking out. Okay, let's turn off the mask here. So select it, right click, and disable. Okay, we will now go up here, the channels, and turn on the channels. If these channels, when they are selected, if they show up as colors, 
like this one would be red, this one would be green, this one would be blue. You want them in black and white. If they're not in black and white, we need to edit, preferences, interface, and show channels in color should be unselected. If they're selected, it will look like this. So we want these unselected. Now we are going to find out which channel has the most contrast. Blue, green, red. Blue seems to have the most contrast for these whiskers here. So that's, we're going to select that. Now we are going to make a copy of this blue channel. Go we'll right click, duplicate channel, blue copy. Okay. Select the blue copy channel, turn it on, this one off. We will now go to image. Adjustments and Levels. And we're going to try to get the background as dark as possible and leave these whiskers as light as possible. Okay, so the area behind the whiskers is about as dark as I can get it. And this might show through where it's light, but for my purposes, this isn't going to be a problem. And click on OK. If there is an area that needs some additional correction, you can select the lasso tool and highlight it. We can also feather it by going to select, modify, feather, and say 14,000. So this for this area, we can go back to image, adjustments, levels and refine what's going on a little bit more just in that in that area like that so you can see this is darker than than this so there's more contrast in through here so this process of selecting areas and adjusting the levels can be continued, but it's just not critical for what I'm going to be doing here. I just wanted to preserve most of these, but you get the idea of how you can keep using this repeatedly all the way around the image to get it as much contrast as possible. Now we are going to hold down the control key and click on blue copy. And we see these areas that have been selected. Now let's go back to the layers here and select the mask.
Okay, now we are going to take a brush. Make sure this is arranged like you see here. And we'll take a brush here with and paint. Okay, if we want these marching ants to go away, just simply hit Control H. Now, the more that I go over this, the higher the opacity. See that I don't want that. I want this. And I can do Control H and see where it is. Let's back up. So this doesn't doesn't show. So there's some around here. And the more I paint over it, the see it's starting to bleed through here. The more I paint over it, the more we're going to see what's in the background. So we'll hit Control H, and you can see they're starting to show up. See, they're even showing up beyond the marching ants. You can see them out here. Now see we got these hairs to stick out here into the black. If I turn off this layer here, you can see how much more detail there is. Now this would be very useful for what I'm doing, except for the background that I'm putting this on is black. These show up as black here. So I want them to show up as white here. So what I did was simply save this. Now we'll go into the saved pictures where I have this, and you can see they're in PSD file. Ah, here it is, Photoshop file. So let's open this with Illustrator. Here's where I used it in Premiere Pro. So I just wanted to show that I would be your guinea pig in this growth strategy for YouTube. And that's what I used George for.